commissioned in 2009 the more than 800 vehicle capacity achimota bus terminal arguably stands tall amongst world-class stations in west africa it has about five terminals a clinic police station and canteen which serve drivers and passengers who visit the station however the station seems to have lost its glory days as patronage of the place continues to decline in recent years this has led to some canteen operators there closing down with drivers warning of an imminent collapse of the station frank akolo a driver who was part of the first cohort of drivers to have moved from the old to the new station in 2009 paint a picture of the glory days of the station to city news as for the old station there yeah, we're always busy over there we can't even do the work at our, around this time some of the drivers too, they do close close and they go and do their whatever they like and they, they, but at these days we, we can't even fetch it like that. There's no work over here again anymore. That's where it's driving them away. And because you can't uh, tell uh, from the house and uh, inform your friends and uh, this and your wife and this and say, I'm going to work and I come with the empty handle like that. Uh, can't be possible. That's where people have been driving uh, away from here. If they don't do anything about it, uh, it will collapse. Normally, uh, there was a queue and others over here, but nowadays we can't find it anymore. The prevailing situation has been blamed on the location of the station. Some passengers say the long wait for vehicles to get full as reason for their decision to resort to boarding commercial buses at bus stops along the main Achimota and Sarum Road. The reason I'm taking car here. You see, I try the new station, after you go there, you get a car. And second, with that, the drivers over there, they are not serious. Uh, after we came here, we get a car at any time. You know? And here is main road. Like, like the station have to come to main road. But out of the station, the, behind the corner, it's not fair. You see, like a station behind the main road, like Pastor Co, that area there, like they put the station over there. I think uh, the union, the station should go on. It does not move fast. If you come here, you'll be in the car like 30 minutes. It don't move fast, come. Because if you come here, you are going to waste your time. So sometimes they will stand at their place if you want to go fast. The low patronage of the new station has resulted in most drivers resorting to hitting the road in the hope to get some passengers along the road. City News understands that the situation is as a result of other floating drivers taking passengers on the N1 highway. Our big men are fighting for those by the, the NY should come in and they are not coming. So then too they see that if like so are, we to divide ourselves, some of us will go to the down there and some will be here. So that is what you are seeing, something like that. Is it? If they have moved them in, I don't think we can divide ourselves like that because we are paying tax too here. You see, opening this station, they borrow money to open station so that the station can work and pay. So now if some people go out, and some people are benefited from that one, and the government is not benefited from that one. The authority that they have power to move them in. What is their problem and what is going on? Municipal Chief Executive Officer of the Okain Kwe North Municipal Assembly, Boy Lai, says all efforts to get drivers to use the new station has proven futile despite pedestrian knockdowns recorded on the N1. From 2019, we have tried our best. Um, I've tried all means. I've tried um, all kind of... Um, measures to make sure that the place you know come back to its uh, normal um, uh, uh, time but uh, it didn't it didn't work as at now and uh, i'm still trying to see whether 
something will work out for me and you know the entire uh, you know area as a municipality um, recently we we try to enforce the law that people all buses should go to the terminal we even close this bus stop called Nadinswa bus stop and some of them try to go there now passengers themselves will not even go there and so when the buses go there they don't get anybody to pick and they don't also have patience to also wait and so they also stop i want to protect uh, life and so this one is temporary uh, trying to do something um, get some money to at least maybe holding the the median of the of the uh, the n1 so that people will not uh, cross to that side to go and go we have overpass uh, walkway at the other side that building side but people will not go there Ghanaians and our you know attitude they will not go there to go and cross they want to cross there and they underrate the speed of the cars that are applying on those roads. And so, uh, in the interim, what I realized is to just help by creating this small place for those who um, would uh, want to still go to that side to board a car, just to, you know, um, get some cars at the old station there. And, 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 and travel to wherever they want to go. So I am aware that this is, and I'm involved, not that I'm aware, I am involved. I actually uh, ask the people to at least come there with um, one one buses just to um, help people to travel to wherever they want to go instead of them crossing the N1 to that side for them to be knocked down by cars. Boy Laie Harba says plans are being put in place to revive the Achimota new station. I am going also to uh, build some shopping mall in the station. So in the interim, we are doing things that at least um, in future, the place will work again. But like I told you, I can also not wait for my people to die everybody dying before the thing went there the understanding is not there people doesn't know why they have to go there to go and pick car but when the time comes that they have to go they will go because a lot of things will happen there yam station is coming there i'm asking the yam um, drivers to come there when they come there people will come there to buy yams to other places to go and sell small small uh, buses will get some yam to so people will come there uh, tomato they will also come i'm bringing all these people something that will bring people to the station so the trotro will also get people to their final destination